Once, incidents of thefts had been on a rise in Vijayanagar. The king and his subjects were all worried about this. Guards and soldiers were posted everywhere and streets were patrolled by them all the time. King Krishnadevaraya was losing sleep over this problem. He called Tenali Raman and said, Tenali Rama, you must have heard about the thefts that are occurring in our kingdom. You must find a way to stop them. You may take any number of soldiers as you need. I need no forces. I will do this all alone. I assure you, I will solve this mystery in a week. People started gossiping as to what one man like Tenali would do against robbers who were creating trouble. The next day, a strange news spread all over the kingdom. How strange is it? Diamond merchant Seth Lakshmi Chant has learnt a magic chant from his guru. They say, if you recite this chant, you may sleep without fear, leaving all your safe doors open. If that is true, we shall also learn that chant, so that we could protect our belongings. That night, Seth Lakshmi Chand recited the chant. Then he left his lockers open and went to sleep. When Seth Lakshmi Chand was fast asleep, two thieves entered his house. As it was dark, the thieves did not notice some black color sticking to their feet. They stole all the monies and jewels and left the place quietly. Then they entered Manilal's house. When Seth Lakshmi Chand got up and went to his room to check, the lockers were empty. When it is known that thieves are troubling our kingdom, why did Seth Lakshmi Chand keep the doors of his house open like this? At this time, Tenali Raman entered the court with two thieves caught red-handed. Your Majesty, I have caught the thieves as I had promised. Send them to prison now. Tenali Rama, how did you manage to catch them all by yourself? Where there is a will, there is a way, Your Majesty. I planned this. Seth Lakshmi Chand did what I told him to do. He kept the doors of his treasury room open and I spread this news all over the kingdom through my courtesans. I had applied fresh dark paint on the floor and walls of the room. So that night, as expected, when the thieves entered, their hands and feet were covered with the dark paint I had applied. And later they went to our ex-minister's house to hide over there. The black paint made it easier for me to identify them. That is how we came to know that our ex-minister was harboring them all this while. Excellent! I am very pleased to hear all this. A kingdom needs more intelligent people like you. Who's there? Arrest the ex-minister and put them all in prison. My dear children, Tenali made Seth Lakshmi Chand say a small lie just to catch the thieves. You could also think wisely and act independently in such situations. Will you? King Krishnadevaraya's court had many learned scholars and elderly advisors. One day, when the court gathered, an elderly scholar by the name Devapriyan said to the king, Greetings, Your Majesty. I have served you for many years now. I have grown very old. I no longer will be able to come to your court. I would like to go back to my native village and live in peace with my family there. It doesn't matter if you have become old. It is your knowledge that our kingdom requires. Knowledge never grows old. So kindly don't leave us. No, your majesty. I am not even able to walk. 
I sit comfortably here. So please relieve me from your services. As you wish. I relieve you from the services of this court. Treasurer, pay him his due respects and send him happily. The king respected and liked the old scholar very much. So he missed him very greatly after his departure. The king stopped taking interest in royal functions or day-to-day -day activities of governing the kingdom. Tenaliraman noticed this change. Captain, it has been a month since Tenali has attended our court. What is wrong with him? Your Majesty, there is no news from him at all. His house is also closed. It seems that Tenali has left our kingdom. I have sent parties throughout our kingdom to search for Tenali. What? Has Tenali Raman also left our kingdom? What wrong have I done? Why is God punishing me like this? Oh God, my heart aches very badly. Your Majesty, don't worry. We will all pray for Tenali Raman's return. If you don't mind, please take a tour around the kingdom to feel a bit relaxed. That seems to be a good suggestion. Make arrangements for my tour. The king went for a walk on the river bank. As he was strolling, he looked at the clear blue water of the river. Then he saw a sage sitting on the river bank. Ah, the river water looks so fresh and clear. The blue water steals my heart with its beauty. It makes me feel so relaxed and peaceful. After a walk, the king returned to his palace. Next day, he went to the river bank once again. The sage was present that day too. Beautiful, lovely, the same water. <laughs> oh sage, why did you laugh at me now? Is anything wrong in admiring the river water? Yes, your majesty. What's wrong? Your words, your majesty. The water you saw yesterday in the old river has already flown away. Today there is new and fresh water here. The beauty of the river lies in this fact. Similarly, coming and going of people in our lives is a natural process. But their departure does not stop our life. Then why should we be feeling so sad for your old scholarly advisor who has left the royal court? Think, your majesty. Think about what I have said now. I agree, O sage. But... Tenali, who is so young and so dear to me, has left me alone. With your divinely powers, can you find his whereabouts for me? <laughs> sure I can. I can bring back your Tenali right in front of your eyes now. But only if you promise to do me a favor. Will you do it? What do you want? 10,000 gold coins? You may take all you want, but I want my Tenali Raman back. Why does this sage need gold coins? All I need is that you should govern this kingdom well without any worries. Will you promise this to me, your majesty? Tenali Rama, I have learned a true lesson for life. Thanks to you, you are indeed my true friend. Dear children, do not regret on what is gone. Think properly and plan well for your future. This will surely make you succeed in life. Courtiers in King Krishnadevaraya's court were all jealous of Tenali Raman's popularity. They were plotting all the time to get even with him. 
King Krishnadevaraya knew that the courtiers were trying to poison his mind against Tenali Raman, so he paid no heed to them. But the courtiers insisted. They repeated the words against Tenali before the king every day, and after some days, the king thought that there should be some truth in their saying. The next day in the royal court, when Tenali Raman arrived, King Krishnadevaraya asked him, Tenali! I am getting many complaints that you are fooling the people of our kingdom and collecting money from them. What do you have to say for your defense? Your Majesty, do you also believe in them? Yes, I do. And if you say you are innocent, prove it. Tenali Raman felt very hurt and insulted by the king's words. He left the royal court silently. The next day, as the royal court session was about to begin, a soldier entered. He held a letter in his hand which he handed over to the king. Your Majesty, greetings. I have served you as your loyal minister for many years now. But today, I face false allegations. The only way to prove my innocence would be to give my life away. So I shall do that. Why? Why? Was that the only way to prove your innocence, Tenali? Tenali was one of your most loyal ministers. To have suspected him was one of our grave mistakes. After he had finished, another got up and the next one. So everyone talked about Tenali. Tenali was standing in the crowd inside the royal court in disguise. As soon as he heard them praising him, he removed his false beard and ran to the king. Greetings, Your Majesty. Tenali? Tenali? Thank God you are back. Yes, Your Majesty. All your courtiers have spoken good of me. Isn't this a good enough proof of my innocence? Tenali Rama, you are a great man and a loyal minister. It is my fault to have suspected you. Tenali Raman was happy and saw that all the jealous courtiers had hung their heads in shame. My dear children, if you are sincere and honest all your life, you will be appreciated by one and all. So be good and do good, will you? Incidents of thefts and small disputes had been seen arise in Vijayanagar kingdom. The king was confused. A discussion about the situation in the kingdom was held in the royal court. At last, the king decided to meet Swami Durmananda as per the minister's advice. Swami Durmananda had spent many years meditating in the Himalayas. The next day, King Krishnadevaraya, along with his royal ministers, left for Swami Durmananda's ashram. They bowed before the Swamiji. The Swami looked at the king with deep, penetrating eyes and said, Oh, king, you have come to me at the right time. Otherwise, your kingdom would have been destroyed forever. Swamiji, tell me what should I do? Listen carefully. God will now speak to you from that room. Oh, king! Deal before Swami Dhummananda. He is the only one who can save you and your kingdom. Serve him all that he wants. All your fears will vanish. Tenali Raman could not believe all that he had heard. He looked in the direction of the room in suspicion. Your Majesty, before you give any offering, let me first go inside the prayer room and meditate for some time. As soon as Tenali entered the room, Swami Durmananda started blinking in fear. Then suddenly, everybody heard a voice. Oh King, listen to me carefully. Swami Durmananda sitting in front of you is a big cheat. He's trying to cheat you all. Beware of him. The king stood in surprise. 
Just then, Tenali emerged out of the room, holding a sheet in his hand. Your Majesty, the divine forecast you heard was coming from his mouth only. I threatened him and made him tell us the truth. I made him say the second forecast too. Is that so? Hey, who are you disguising yourself as a swami? Tell me, or you'll be put to death. Your Majesty, please forgive me. I am neighboring country spy. Soldiers, lock them up in prison. Tenali, you have saved our kingdom from our enemies. Here is your reward. My dear children, you should believe in God, but be careful from those people who cheat in the name of God. Once, some laborers were digging up the grounds of Tirumalapuram at the outskirts of Vijayanagar kingdom. While digging, they came across the ruins of some old temple. They dug further and it was confirmed that earlier it was an ancient Vishnu temple. This finding was informed to the king. When King Krishnadevaraya heard about this, he went to see the place along with Tenali Rama and another minister. He saw the beautiful idol of Lord Vishnu. Tenali Rama, there should have been a very big Vishnu temple here. It should have been buried as the time passed by. Your Majesty, Vishnu is the king of wealth. An ancient idol of Lord Vishnu has been found in our kingdom. This means that our kingdom will prosper much more than now. Well said, Tenali. Minister, Your Majesty, make all arrangements to build a huge Vishnu temple at this place. Let there be beautiful gardens all around the temple. Yes, Your Majesty. Soon, the work began and the surroundings were cleared up. The ancient ruined temple was repaired. The ancient temple now shone with a new bright glow. One day, King Krishnadevaraya visited the temple along with Tenali Rama and the other minister. As the king entered the temple area, he looked around the garden. The temple is wonderful, but there's something missing in the garden. Here they are, Your Majesty. All kinds of flowers from rose to jasmine and all sorts of fruits from mango to banana to offer to the Lord are here. A lot may be here, but something is missing which I really expected. Hmm? The minister could not understand the king's desire. He got confused. At this point, Tenali Rama interrupted. O oh, king! The garden that you desire has been planted on the other side of the temple. Kindly come with me to see it. The king and the other ministers followed Tenali Rama. Tenali Rama pointed out to a tulasi plant planted in a pot. On seeing this, the king became happy. Tenali, you are very clever. No Vishnu temple is complete without a holy tulsi plant. You have cleverly planted one here. Good. I appreciate you. Thanks, Your Majesty. It is my duty. The minister was ashamed of himself for not knowing such a simple thing. My dear children, small things may not have great importance in some places. Will you also plant the tulasi in your house and benefit from its herbal nature? Will you? Once, a rich businessman came from Iran to visit Vijayanagar. He was welcomed and treated honorably by the king. Oh, Sheikh, I am very glad to hear that my country's fame has reached the Middle East as well. You may stay in our royal guest house as our guest and enjoy our tasty food too. As you please. Minister, make all the necessary arrangements for this businessman's stay here. Yes, Your Majesty. The businessman 
was served with all kinds of tasty food prepared specially by the royal cook. The businessman enjoyed the hospitality. Sir, this is a special sweet dish by name Rasagulla. This is one of my king's favorite dishes too. I have taken special precautions to prepare this for you, sir. Kindly have this. I don't want this rasagulla. Instead, bring me the root of this rasagulla. The royal cook stood confused. He did not know about any root of rasagulla. The royal cook explained this to the king in privacy. What? The roots of rasagulla? I've never heard of or seen a thing like roots of rasagulla ever in my lifetime. It's the same with me, Your Majesty. That Sheikh is our royal guest. It's our honorable duty to provide him with all that he asks for. Okay, you may go now. I'll ask the courtiers all about the roots of rasagulla. The next day in the royal court. Courtiers, do any one of you know where to find the roots of rasagulla? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Our guest is anxious to eat it. If any one of you know, tell me. Your Majesty, there is no root for rasagulla. I think he is playing a trick on us. If you don't know, how can you call it a trick? What Tenali Rama? Don't you also know what it is? I know, Your Majesty. Rasagulla has a root, and I have seen it. Tenali, there is a limit to your lies. It is very funny to hear your words. I will arrange for the roots of Rasagulla. Tomorrow, I will bring the roots of Rasagulla for the sheikh. For that, I need a silver bowl and a sharp knife, Your Majesty. I'll give you all that you need, but. All of us are curious to know how the roots of rasagulla look like. So, I'll invite the sheikh tomorrow to the royal court and make him eat it here. Yes, your majesty. Sir, I think this Tenali has gone mad. And our king also strangely supports his foolishness. Pai bother. If Tenali doesn't bring it, Tenali Ramal will be punished. The next day in the royal court the king came along with the businessman and sat upon his throne Tenali Raman entered the court with a bowl in his hand It was covered with a piece of muslin cloth Tenali Rama huh let me first have a look at the roots of rasagulla I am sorry your majesty our guest must first see it and eat it Tenali removed the muslin cloth and held the bowl to the businessman. There was sugar cane inside the bowl. The businessman took it in his hand and ate it contentedly. Wow, wow, amazing. This is what I asked for. Tenali, did you give sugar cane pieces as roots of rasagulla? Yes, your majesty. All sweets are made out of sugar. Where does sugar come from? It comes from sugar cane. Root means the source. So, the source of this sweet rasagulla is sugar cane. <laughs> Excellent, Tenali. I appreciate your wise thinking. You have satisfied our guest and saved the name of our kingdom, as you have been always doing. Dear children, we should always provide our guests with all that they ask for. Think wisely, and your hospitality will be appreciated. One day when the royal court was being held a trader presented himself in the court he had a large metal box with him your majesty 
I am here to seek help from you. O oh king, I am a trader. I have planned to go on a pilgrimage to North India. I have all my ancestral wealth inside this box here. I request you to have this under your safe custody, your majesty. Okay, done. Who's there? Weigh this metal box and bring it back to me. Okay, we'll take care of your property. My wishes for your peaceful and happy journey. 10 kgs, your majesty. Who's there? Keep this in the royal treasury. Your majesty, the law says that only the royal wealth must be kept in the royal treasury. Hence, we may give this box to our trustworthy Tenai Raman to keep it safely in his house, your majesty. I think that's good. Tenali Rama, is that okay with you? As you please, your majesty. After a month the trader came to the royal court Your majesty I am back from my pilgrimage the trip was good I am now here again to receive my box your majesty Tenali get the box back and hand it over to him Yes your majesty Tenali Raman went home to get the box When he reached home and lifted the metal box he was shocked The box weighed very less than its weight when it was weighed for the first time. Tenali understood now that the trader had tried to cheat the king. <laughs> Tenali observed the metal box carefully for some minutes. <laughs> Then he hurriedly reached the royal court. Your Majesty, the ancestors of this trader have entered my house. They are not allowing me to bring this box here, Your Majesty. What? My ancestors, you bloody cheat. Don't play tricks, your majesty. Tenali Raman is cleverly trying to cheat me of my wealth. Yes, your majesty. He's trying to cheat us all. Tenali, all of us will go to your house right now. If you're a prude or liar, you will have to face severe punishment. Yes, your majesty. So the king and the courtiers, the trader, all went to Tenali's house. The king saw that ants were going in and out of the box. Open the box, Tenali. Oh. What is this? It is only sugar. Trader, is this your ancestral wealth? Lock him up in prison for cheating me. Forgive me, your majesty. These two ministers here asked me to play this dirty trick. to get tenali punished lock these two also in prison please forgive us your majesty don't punish us please don't tenali rama how did you figure out that there is only sugar in that box tell me a secret there were always ants around the box your majesty if the box were filled with precious gems and stones then there is no need for ants to be there moreover The weight of the box was reduced as the ants ate away the sugar. To prove this to you, I call the ants as his forefathers. Tenali, I'm amazed by your knowledge. Please have this pearl necklace as a token of my love. Thanks, my lord. So, dear children, did you see what happens when we try to cheat others? So, children, never cheat other people. Once King Krishna Devaraya went to Katak there he reached the banks of the river Narmada a great saint was staying there
the saint can float in air with his power of meditation, he should definitely be a great and a powerful saint. I should seek his blessings. Oh great saint, I am Krishna Devaraya, the king of Vijayanagara. Your power has impressed me. Kindly shower your blessings upon me. Oh king, is everything okay with you? Fine. Are you happy now? Yes, Guruji. But... The warriors of Vijayanagar have conquered the neighboring states by defeating them in the battles recently. Though this has brought about name and fame, the losses have been plenty in lives as well as money. This has caused you great pain. This pain has been prevailing over your victory. What? Isn't this your state now? Yes, Guruji. Everything that you said is true. My kingdom is in grave difficulty now. Please give me a solution to this situation. Take this bowl with you. Go to the holy river Narmada. Fetch the bowl full of water from the river. As you wish, Guruji. Guruji, what should I do with this water? Take this back home. Sprinkle it in your treasury. Your treasury will be filled with enormous wealth. May the Lord bless your kingdom with more name and fame. Thanks a lot, Guruji. But one condition. Not a single drop of water must be spilt anywhere on your way back. I will do it, Guruji. Mm -hmm. Who will be capable of carrying this bowl of water without spilling to Vijayanagara? Mm -hmm. The ministers and commanders are not so responsible. Hmm, I guess Tenali Raman should be perfect for the job. I'll hand over this responsibility to him. Commander? Yes, Your Majesty. Commander, we are supposed to take this bowl of water to Vijayanagara without spilling any drop. Ask Tenali to do it. Your Majesty, Tenali is not capable of carrying out this job. He has been sleeping for long now. How will he be able to carry this water to Vijayanagara without spilling it? Is that so? Is he sleeping? Let's go and see. Tenali, what is this? <laughs> My lord, did you call me? Hmm. I came here to give you a major responsibility. But you're sleeping. Your majesty, when I have no responsibility, I go to sleep. But when you give me some responsibility, my eyes never close. Tenali, I wonder if you'll be able to carry this bowl of water without spilling a single drop on the ground. If you spill even a single drop of water, our kingdom will be in great trouble. So be it, my lord. I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'm sure Tenali Raman will definitely spill this water out. Even if he doesn't, I will make him do it. <laughs> he should be punished by the king. Oh, commander, you need brains to think. So don't waste your time. The king has already left. Go follow him now. Hmm, I know. You better be careful. <laughs> the king was sitting in the chariot, but his thoughts were fully concentrated on the bull. Tenali Raman was following the king in another chariot. The king was worried only about the bowl of water. The commander who was riding the chariot of Benali deliberately went on a stony and uneven path so that the water would definitely spill. But Benali was not at all bothered about this. He was fast asleep.
As soon as they reached the palace, Commander, ask Tenali to bring the bowl immediately. Your Majesty, are there Tenali ramen? <laughs> Take a look at his plate. The king and commander reached Tenali's chariot. The king found Tenali sleeping peacefully in his chariot. He grew very angry. Tenali Rama, <gasps> my lord. Tenali, what have I said and what are you doing? What happened to the responsibility I gave you? Where is the bowl? You have ruined the good fortunes of our kingdom. Your Majesty, I know it is very difficult to carry a bowl of water without spilling while coming on a chariot. So I have placed the bowl in this leather bag and have tied it tightly. And the water is here safe as you handed it over to me. Tenali Rama, your intelligence is unmatched, and I too have become very short-tempered. I'm very sorry if I have hurt you by my words. Your Majesty, there is nothing new in you scolding me. At the end of the day, you always land up appreciating me. This is known to everyone in our kingdom. Don't change this tradition. <laughs> Dear children, what did you learn from the story? Tenali has proved that you should play while you play and work while you work. Only then will you be respected by everyone. There was a courtier named Sundar in King Krishna Devaraya's court. He had once felt insulted by Tenali Raman's words, so he wanted to take revenge. He realized that even the royal priest was jealous of Tenali. This common feeling of jealousy led to a strong bond between Sundar and the royal priest, and Sundar used to talk against Tenali. As the royal priest listened to all the words of Sundar, he started to talk against the king too. Guruji, Tenali Raman is a big cheat, and our king also believes whatever he says. He should be a big fool. Tenali is very clever. His actions are very intelligent. That is why the king likes him very much. Moreover, what can we do about that? You are the royal priest of our kingdom, but he doesn't even respect you. Hmm, I have noticed that too. It is not enough if you are aware. We should inform this to our king and make Tenali look like a fool. Hmm. True. You may complain to the king, but uh, it is not good for my position. Okay then, I'll try to change king's mind by saying bad things about Tenali Raman. It is more than enough if you remain silent. Hmm. Do as you wish. Your Majesty, Tenali Raman is a very dishonest man. He is fooling the people of our kingdom and collecting bribes from them. Minister, if you want to complain about anyone, do so in the royal court. I'll inquire immediately. Now you may leave. The minister left feeling ashamed, but the king was deep in thought. Hmm. This Sundar has been giving a number of complaints about Tenari Raman nowadays. Maybe it is true. Tomorrow I'll inquire about this at the royal court. The next day. When the royal court gathered, the king called Tenali. Tenali, I have been hearing a series of complaints against you. Further, I also hear that you are speaking ill about me. Is it true? Your Majesty, I cannot say anything about this now. I need a few days time. Then, until you give me an answer, you need not attend the royal court. As you say, Your Majesty. Sundar and the royal priest felt very happy on seeing Tenali leaving the court.
That night, Tenali took the king to the royal priest's house. They hid behind a window and heard the conversation between the royal priest and Sundar. Guruji, a king seems to be very innocent. He has believed all that I have told him about Tenali Rama. Just wait and watch. In a few days, I will throw Tenali Rama out of this kingdom. <laughs> the royal priest did not join in, but he did not stop Sundar from talking either. The king now understood Sundar's plans. He left the place. Your Majesty, do you realize now this is a trick to destroy me? Yes, Tenali, but I feel that the royal priest is being led away from the path of virtue by Sundar. You must do something to save the innocent priest from Sundar's bad influence. Sure, Your Majesty, I will take care of it. Don't worry, just give me some more time for it. One day, Tenali Raman held a grand feast at his house. He invited the royal priest and Sundar. At the function, Tenali went to sit beside Sundar. He then looked at the royal priest sitting on a chair some distance away. Tenali pretended to whisper some secret in Sundar's ears. Now, the royal priest grew suspicious. Mm. What secret is this Tenali telling to Sundar? Is it something to do with me? Oh Sundar, do not tell the secret to anyone at all. What secret did Tenali tell you? He said nothing. He just murmured. That's all. The royal priest grew suspicious of Sundar. Sundar was always speaking against the king and Tenali. But today, he is not telling me even a single secret he shared with Tenali. Hereafter, I should not be friendly with him. With these thoughts, the royal priest left the place and he also left Sundar's friendship. Welcome Tenali. You have separated the royal priest and Sundar with some master plans. Thanks a lot. I did nothing much, Your Majesty. I invited both of them to my house and created a misunderstanding between them. This misunderstanding itself broke their friendship. The royal priest lost his faith in Sundar and left him. <laughs> That's it. Dear children, do you understand that bad friendship leads to our destruction? So be careful while choosing your friends. One day, King Krishnadevaraya was attending the royal court. It was drizzling outside. The monsoon had recently arrived. He was enjoying the day while listening to the pitter-patter of the rain and the sound of the thunder. Just then, the king expressed a wish. He said he wanted to celebrate that year's monsoon festival with great pomp and show. He wanted to honour and give some award to the most talented artist in the kingdom. There was a discussion about who would be qualified to receive the best artist award. A courtier said, Your Majesty, this year we can give the award to our royal court artist Velapar. Your Majesty, this time around we must search for a true artist and honour him. What do you mean by a true artist? Your Majesty, a true artist does not create his work so as to please others. He wants to express himself through his creation. I am aware of such an artist, Your Majesty. The king wanted to meet the sculptor. The next day, the king and Tenali Raman rode in the chariot and went to the forest. They reached the Black Hill. 
Inside, the cave was full of many statues. The sculptor was not aware that someone had entered the cave and was watching him. He was busy with his work. The king approached him and asked, Oh my good man, whose statue is this? My lord, it's the rain goddess. Admiring the beautiful clouds and lovely drizzle and enjoying her own creation. The king admired the wonderful statues once again. He felt that this sculptor was the right person to receive the award. The next day, the sculptor was invited to the royal court and was awarded the prize. The king honoured Kanali for his choice of a true artist. Dear children, do your work sincerely. You will be definitely recognised and appreciated one day. Once, for some weeks, King Krishnadevaraya had been solemn and sad. He seemed to be lost in his own thoughts all the time. All the courtiers noticed this and were worried. They had discussions to bring the king to his normal routine. Your Majesty, let us have a music and drama festival in our kingdom. Or shall we perform a ritual yajna for the kingdom's prosperity? Your Majesty, I think we should hold on display our army skills and artillery. When all of them were speaking, Tenali Raman sat silently in his chair. What Tenali Rama? Won't you suggest something for me? Your Majesty, today morning I saw the most beautiful flowers on earth. If you wish, you can see them too. If that's so, I'd love to see them. So the king... The commander-in-chief and some courtiers accompanied Denali Raman. Soon they reached a large open ground where many children were playing. The king saw all this and went near the children. He started to play with them, forgetting that he was the king. He enjoyed with the children. He played with them all day long. The ministers and Tenali Raman felt happy to see the king. Tenali, sitting amidst children makes one feel like a child. Isn't it, Tenali Rama? This pleasure is uncomparable. This makes me forget all my worries. It's true, Your Majesty. Playing with children gives us inner peace. It is like praying to God. That is why people say that children have the qualities of God. But Tenali, you are supposed to show me the most beautiful flowers on earth. Where are they? Didn't you see them just now? These children are earth's most beautiful flowers. You are right, Tenali. These children have washed away all my worries. Now, I will visit these children every month. Minister, provide these children with all the toys that they need. Dear children, you are the earth's most beautiful flowers. Everybody loves you. Be proud and make people happy around you. <laughs>